Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today for my Wear It Wednesdays, which I host here on my channel, but also Wednesdays We Wear Pink for Reborn Living Dolls, I believe it is. I hope I'm saying that right. I will tag you who does that uh, Wednesdays We Wear Pink. Um, and joining me is my beautiful Octavia. Octavia is the love of my life. She is the first ever full body silicone I got a few years back and she had some peeling and some damage done to her um, with her paint. So I wanted to try to fix her. She turned out a little bit red. So I decided to strip her and we had some damage happen to her. But now she is more beautiful than ever. I actually gave her that vascular birthmark to cover up the flaws. Um, there are flaws throughout her body, but mostly it was her face that was the most concern to me. So I did that vascular birthmark and she is stunning. Absolutely stunning with that beautiful birthmark on her. I absolutely love it. And I hope all of you guys do as well. You guys have all been so kind when I bring her on. Um, but yes, it's re, you know, real life babies can be born with certain, um, you know, genetics or certain diseases or birth defects, things like that. And this would be a vascular birthmark that I did on her and it helped cover the flaws that had happened to her in her face. She is bald. I will be rooting her hair, but I did root her lashes, rooted her eyebrows. And when, you know, when I did everything, I fully uh, painted her, sealed her with the silicone velvet and she is perfect now. To me, she is the most perfect baby. She is Number one, that's why her little thing says number one. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Octavia Madison. And her little clip on her um, little pacifier thing says number one. I'll show you that up close. I ordered those. Every baby's going to get their own like that with their name on it and something special on there. But she is number one. She was the number, you know, first one I ever got and the love of my life. And no matter what, there isn't nothing you can do to this baby to make her look bad. She is stunning. We're going to get her into a cute, warm sleeper, but first we're going to go ahead and read our devotional for today. Billy Graham Wisdom for Each Day. Today we're on life's hard reality. The length of our days in the length of our days is 70 years, yet their span is but trouble and sorrow. Psalms 90:10. Then it goes on to say, there is in black there is there it is in black and white. Life is hard. And our years on earth are marked by trouble and sorrow. As someone, he, as someone has said, there is no false advertising in the Bible. We wish it weren't so. Of course, maybe that's why we're so quick to believe the advertisements that promise happiness if we'll only use their product. And sometimes life can bring us measure of happiness. The Bible says the Lord bestows favor and honor no good thing does he withhold from those who walk in blameless. Psalms 84, 11. But I've never met a person who didn't have problems of some kind. We live in this world that is broken because of sin and we share in its brokenness. What difference should this make? First, it should give us greater compassion for others. All around you are people who, lives li who live lives. Wait, I'm sorry. All around you are people who live whose lives are filled with trouble and sorrow, and they need your compassion and encouragement. Second, it should make us yearn for heaven. There are troubles and sorrows. There are troubles and sorrows will cease, and we will be safely with Christ forever. Can I hear a big amen, you guys? Amen. See what they're talking about? It is supposed to be like this, you guys, because this is not our permanent home. Our permanent home is in heaven. Because we live in a sin-infested world and we all sin, every one of us sin and live in glass houses, so we should not be throwing stones at anybody. Um, where it says here, we should be kind to people. Where it says first, um, it should give us a greater compassion for others. We should have so much compassion for others, um, trying to steer them towards the Lord so that they can have heaven as well as yourself. If you have your salvation, we want many, we want everybody to have heaven, right? That's what God wants because we live in a world where people just don't believe there's a heaven because they think, why is everything so bad? But if they would read his word, this was all predicted and was supposed to happen because of the sin infested world we live in and all the sins we bring on 
on ourselves as well. Each and every one of us sin. And so that's why even though I read these things, please God, do, or please guys, God, please guys do not think that I am this perfect angel. My name is Angel, but I am not an angel. I am not perfect. I sin just as much as any one of you. And I would never ever walk down the street thinking, holding my head high saying, my poop doesn't stink and I am the best because I walk with God. We all sin every single day of our life. We all sin. And asking God for forgiveness, reading his word, yearning for him, praying to Jesus, spending alone quality time with him, you know, honoring the Bible, listening to Christian music, watching Christian movies, whatever we can do to strive for God will help us to live a better life. But we are going to sin. That's why God sent his son, God himself, came to this earth as Jesus Christ, God's son, to die on a cross. He took our sins on for us. He took them because he was perfect. Only a perfect man could take those sins on. He took them. He took our place for all the things we do wrong. So we should be thanking him, asking for that salvation into our heart, asking him to come into our heart, getting right with God and getting ready and prepared for heaven. Heaven, you guys, can you imagine walking streets of gold, never having any sadness or sorrow or pain or anything? Everything will be perfect one day in heaven. It will. Let's give ourselves over to him today. Please get right with him today because we don't have a tomorrow. We're never promised a tomorrow. We don't know when our time is up. Time ends so quickly, you guys. Our lives are so short. We're like a, we're like vapor. You know, we're here and we're gone. That's it. And you only get that one chance while you're here on earth. You don't get it after, you know, your time is up because then your judgment comes upon you by God. <clears throat> if you didn't believe, please today believe. Believe today because what is it saying? Life's hard reality. It's a reality that this is hard. But in the end, we get heaven. Heaven. Think about that, you guys. The wisdom for today. Life is difficult for everyone. Think about it, you guys. Everyone, it's difficult. And no one makes it through unscathered. Um, Lord, help us to assume the best in others, to err on the side of grace, and to make compassion our default response. Yes, let's be kind and loving to everybody. God loves us all. He hates the sin, but he loves the person. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. He loved the entire world. God loves us all. Let's be compassionate, kind, loving to everyone because we're all going through it. We don't know what people are going through. You know, they, you think, oh, they, you know, they shouldn't be that way. And, you know, it's just wrong for them to live their life that way and everything. You don't even know what they're going through. Don't judge them. Just like I've had somebody uh, recently judge me about saying you're wrong for wanting copy babies. But are they thinking about that they could be wrong for judging me? This isn't a copy. She's not. She's authentic. But telling me that I'm wrong for that, that people sh do not deserve to buy a copy baby if they don't have the money, they don't deserve a baby. Are you Jesus Christ? That's all that I'm saying. And I am not one to start drama or steer drama. I'm just saying we all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. God is not worried about a copy baby. He's worried about if we're real, if we're fake, if we're walking right with him. He doesn't care about a doll that we're not taking with us. This little girl is not coming with me. She's real, authentic, but I mean, she's not coming with me. So God doesn't care if that's all you can afford. God wants you to worry about your walk with him. Get right with him. Right with him today. And don't care about what somebody else is going through things. Be compassion like Dee says on her channel at the baby patch. We don't know what people are going through. And so we wouldn't judge. And it makes, you know, like she always says at the end, that it shows the true being of yourself. Don't you want to be known as somebody sweet instead of somebody that's going to judge somebody? I don't mind. You can judge me all you want, but truly God is the only one that can ultimately judge me. And he'll tell me, you know, what I did wrong in my life. Believe me, he will. I'll know. But because Jesus died on the cross, I have heaven. I have heaven, you guys. So I'm not worried about it. I'm excited to be in heaven with God. How glorious that day will be. Let's start our day, go through a day, and end our day with life's manual of the Holy Bible. Let's read it, study, honor, obey, and live by his word. Live by it. Get your salvation today. Don't worry about the materialistic things in life because none of it's coming with us. We need to worry about our walk and be kind, loving, compassion to everyone, to everyone, you guys, to everyone. Pick up his word. Spend some quality alone time with Jesus because life's hard reality is true.
It's true for all of us. We're all living in hard times. We all do. But just think the ones that have their salvation, where they're going, and let's try to bring many others to the Lord. I love you all very much. But remember, God loves you the most. He wants you in heaven with him. He does. Because he knows life here is hard. He walked this earth himself. He firsthand knows what it's like to walk this earth. It's not easy. But let's give ourselves over to him, rebuke out the devil, and live the life that we, the best that we can, walking for him, living for him, and being compassionate and loving to everyone. Because we're all going through it. We're all going through it. All right, you guys. So we're going to get on to beautiful Octavia. And I hope you guys love her just as much as me. I mean, it's not for everybody, the big birthmark that she has, that vascular birthmark, but it made her more beautiful than ever. I love her and she will never, she is a forever baby. This baby's never leaving my nursery ever, 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 ever. I love her to death. And there are people out there that like flaws in a baby because it's reality and real. Let's put this on Octavia today. Look at this adorable sleeper. I love this sleeper. It is baby gear. It is three to six months. It's a little bit big on her. She wears zero to three, but it fits her pretty good. She's like a three month size baby. She's 11 pounds and uh, like 20 inches long. I love this. She is so cuddly. And of course, I after I show these videos, I cuddle these babies at night. So I'm going to be cuddling her in this beautiful, beautiful sleeper. It is so soft and thick and wooly and just Oh my goodness, so adorable. And then to top it off, it's got cupcakes all over it. And she is my cupcake. I'm going to be snuggling her. It's all baby pink, fuzzy like a lamb. It's got baby pink around the collar, around the sleeves. And then it's just got the feet in it. And it's all snaps and just absolutely gorgeous. It's got hot pink cupcakes and teal pink cupcakes, or teal cupcakes, green cupcakes, like a lime green and it's like all like hot neon colors. And then it's got the little cherries on top of each one. Oh, yummy, right? She's going to be my yummy little cupcake. And then I want to put these on her. They say little angel. They're pink and white, which they're not really going to show, but I want her in socks because she's got the little tights on. So it says little angel and she is my little angel. All my babies are my angels. And I'm going to do the hot pink um, headband on her to bring the pink out. I could have done green. I could have done uh, teal, but I already did a baby with the teal. So I want to do the pink with it this time since. Wednesdays, we wear pink, and look, she's even in pink, you guys. So, and I didn't do that with her last time. Um, we did a video, it wasn't for Wednesday, I don't believe, but there she is in her pink. We're going to take her unicorn because she's sleeping. We're going to go ahead and take this beautiful nook out so I can show you. Look at this beautiful girl. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. This is her nook. I ordered this online. Um, I can stick it on the screen where I got it through the company. I do, I'm do. i doing the all clear with the gold. Um, they only have the gold, I believe, but I'm doing the all clear. You can get any color you want, but I want the clear so it matches everything. And then look at this, number one. She is the queen, and she is number one in our family. Uh, number one, she was the first one I ever got, and it comes on a beautiful chain. I love it. I'm getting all my babies one. So far, three of my babies have them, and I'm going to keep getting them for all the babies. And then she's got this adorable cheetah print outfit on. It's um, It's got that cat on it. Maria. It says, love, lovely like Maria. And I can't remember what cartoon, maybe Looney Tunes that was. I can't remember. I think this is Disney. Um, but it came with the little tights and the tights are the ballerina little socks like at the bottom. It looks like she's wearing ballerina. It's just a t-shirt tucked in with this beautiful um, cheetah and it's got the fur on it, which I've already went over and told you guys that. If, but some people are new to my channel and probably haven't seen this video. So we're taking off her little bracelets and we're going to get her done up. So she is a bald baby, as you see, but I'm going to be rooting her and just look at her. She's gorgeous. Let's get her undressed, but um, let's see. Yeah, let's first just get her undressed and then we'll start getting her dressed. We want to try to make these videos quick because um, I don't want my camera to go out. Um, I have a, my tripod is a, a timed one, so it's not, you know, you don't plug it in. It's just you charge it and then it just eventually goes out. <laughs> so we want to try to do this quickly. Let's set her up and take off this shirt. Be very careful. I always say be very careful with silicone. Uh, walk the clothes over the silicone. Walk it, um, you know, using the clothes to pull instead of the silicone. It's so important to understand that with silicones. Um, she is a 20 Ecoflex, very uh, tough baby, but still, look at even doing what I did with her, it ruined her silicone in certain spots, but she'll never be ruined. To me, she's not ruined. She's still perfect, and I love her, and I love what I did to fix her. She does have the onesie on, so we can leave that onesie on, but I'm going to go ahead and take her little tights off that go with that. Yes, my beautiful girl. She is my beautiful, beautiful girl, and she knows it. She knows mommy loves her. 
All right, I'll get her up to the camera here so you can just see her up a little bit closer. But you see why I had to do it? Because of the overlay of that on her and there. So now with the vascular birthmark, it looks like she was born that way. And she is stunning. Look at her eyelashes. So pretty. Her rooted eyebrows and her beautiful uh, painted body. She does have flaws everywhere, but she is gorgeous to me. And I don't care. I love her, you guys. I love her. You kind of got a better view of her there, um, of what, you know, to what happened to her body but isn't she stunning i don't think anybody out there would say that she is not beautiful she is so realistic and so gorgeous all right now because it is wear it wednesday all you know talking about baby fashion and getting these babies dressed up and wednesdays we wear pink and all of that i want to let you guys know you guys i'm gonna put it in the community wall on saturday you guys i am doing a huge ginormous baby sell boy and girl clothes from preemie on up to nine months boy and girl like i said you, i'm going to also have and, and i've got some amazing clothes in mint condition i also will have baby swaddle wraps that are velcro i will have bibs i will have um diaper covers you guys really awesome diaper covers onesies of all kinds like all different colors not just not white onesies i'm talking about onesies that have all kinds of prints and stuff on them in all different sizes i will have everything and anything you could think of baby hangers i'm also going to have hangers packs of 10 baby hangers the good ones not the ones that come with the clothes i'm talking about real baby hangers because i've just got so many hangers and uh, my prices you guys are so it's going to be let me go over it real quick it's going to be baby clothes starting from preemie on up to six to nine months it's going to be boy and girl, and it's going to be a variety of everything. It's going to be the diaper covers. It's going to be snow suits. It's going to be for boy and girl. It's going to be um, the uh, diaper covers. It's going to be swaddle wraps. I mean, you name it, that's what's going to be in there, everything, except for shoes. I don't have shoes. But everything you can think of, guys, so please get over Saturday. I'm going to be having it Saturday live. I'm doing a live Saturday on this channel here. So if you're over on my other channel, you guys, Get over to this channel because I'm going to be doing a baby sell and you're not going to want to miss out. These clothing that I got, you guys, is like new, is like new. It is in mint condition, everything, and some are separate pieces, just shirts and some pants, but we, I have lots of awesome, amazing outfits, you guys, and the prices are going to start from a dollar on up to seven. That'll be the most expensive for an item is seven dollars you can't beat that you guys it's like a garage sale i mean you cannot beat those prices look at my cuddly snuggly bug oh my gosh she looks so cute but yes you guys get over saturday 7 p.m central standard time if you don't understand that you live eastern or mountain time look it up what is in um i live in minnesota uh just look it up what is seven um, p.m. Central Standard Time to your time. So you know uh, what time this will be at so that you will be here to join. I'll, it, I mean, it's going to run probably for a couple hours because you guys, I've got like over two, I'm going to say about 200 pieces. Um, yes, maybe even more, you guys. I have so many clothes and you guys all say how cute my stuff is. Well, come on over and join the live and I'm going to be just, how I'm going to do it is put everything up real quick, talk about it. Uh, tell you the size. I'll go in sizes. So start with the smallest to the biggest. I'm going all the way up, boy to girl. And that's how I'll do it. And then I'm going to put, um, gosh, you know, my takes this really quick. I don't know why. She must not want it. <laughs> um, and then I'll go over. I'm going to um, just put a, a number on all of it. You know, each number. I'm going to just do like a, a post-it note on each one and put a number. So if you want that item, you would just let me know. My husband's going to help me and write the person down and their, um, you know, what they, they get. And he'll keep track of all that. And it'll have a number. So you'll be able to just tell me what number. And I'm just going to keep going all the way up, even if it's number 200. I'm just going to keep going. I'll keep the number on it because whatever doesn't sell at that moment so I can run through quickly. Somebody, if they, you know, come in and, uh, you know, they want to look back. And I will show that, too. If you come in late, I will show you the stuff that's left over that got left. I'll show it again. Um, but just remember, you guys, that... Um, I mean, so that's how I'm going to do it, and I'll mark everything, and then if you remember something in your head, you can just say on the screen, because my husband's going to be watching that, like, let's say it was number 12, you'll say, I want 12, or let's say it was number 
189 you'll say i remembered 189 and i really want that he'll be watching for that and putting it in a box and then if it's just a couple items you get i can put them into an envelope and um ship it that way so it'll be a cheaper shipping for you um i will um have my i'm gonna put my email up on the screen right now but i will i always have it linked in my box my information box but that day um i will let you guys know too so you can contact me but um, if you get just a few things, it'll go in an envelope. If it's kind of like medium, it'll be a medium flat rate. If it's a lot, we'll squeeze it into a large flat rate. I mean, I can get a large, a lot into a large flat rate. Um, so, because I know that a lot of the stuff you guys are going to freak when you see what I have. You're going to freak how much I have and how beautiful this stuff is. So don't miss out, you guys, at this live baby clothes sale and all the stuff I'm going to have at prices starting at a dollar to seven dollars. That will be the absolute most at seven dollars. So definitely join me, you guys. I hope that you will. I hope you enjoyed seeing my beautiful Octavia. Look at how pretty she looks. She looks so snuggable. I can't wait to snuggle her. Yes, I can't wait my snuggy buggy. But yes, definitely join me, you guys. Um, and if whatever I have left, I'll save for next year because I'll be going through and it'll be a, like, it's, this um, is kind of random. It's like mostly summer, but there is some fall stuff in there and something, uh, quite a bit. Um, and then next year, if there's anything left, I'm going to do it probably like in April. I'll do when I'm switching the clothes out again to put the summer stuff out. Then I'll switch it out and be showing the fall and winter stuff along with what was left over. Or I might do it again in a couple of weeks, what was left over in case somebody didn't get to join. Um, but I'll always, I'll let you know, I'm going to put it on the community wall too. If I can get a nice big picture of everything just kind of laid out like in a pile, like I'll have it make, you know, make it look neat. But I'm going to show you this enormous pile if i can get it on the community wall i will let everybody know please anybody that's going to do it please let all your friends know to watch that day because we're going to be selling some amazing baby clothes amazing baby clothes all right you guys i'm going to get going octavia is going to blow you a kiss with her nook in Mwah. she loves god she loves mommy daddy all of her aunties uncles her grandmas and her grandpas and all of her cousins i love you guys as well Mwah. And remember, though, who loves you the most? God. God loves you the most. Let's get right with God. Let's be compassionate and loving to everyone because we live in a hard world. But we have heaven when it's over. When it's over, you guys, we have heaven. All right, everyone, take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.